Okay, here we go. <laughs> Hoping I get this. <laughs> Forget it. I'm sorry. Here, she's trying to fight the piece of stick oh. left. <laughs> Pretty good. Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is Deja and I am the starstruck pup behind the art. And today we're gonna be taking a bunch of inspiration that we found on our hike and funneling it straight into my sketchbook. Unlike most of my videos, I'm actually not gonna be super chatty in this one. Um, I'm really just not feeling well. I've been having a headache for some time and I do blame um, allergy season, although I probably shouldn't. I should probably blame the fact that I literally always forget to drink my water. But anyways, this isn't going to be as chatty of a sketchbook session as it normally is. I know normally I'm Yapper 2000 out here, um, but I'm looking to do something a little bit more low-key today. So go ahead and grab yourself a drink and your favorite activity, whether that's sketching with me, painting, crocheting, paint by numbers. I Maybe it's dancing. I don't know. You let me know in the comments what you're working on while I'm working on. Finding peace outside of the perfectionism I've created in my head and just decide that anything that I create is perfect in its own way. You know the way when you talk to a child about their art, you find something nice to say about it? That's how I want to feel about all the art I create, especially when I'm specifically creating art of a topic that I love. I love dogs so much and for me, any dog that I create should inherently be perfect because all dogs themselves are perfect. So as I'm creating my perfect angel sage, I like to remind myself that at the end of the day, this painting will be perfect no matter how the paint is laid down because in my eyes, sage is perfect and I would appreciate and love any rendition of her. But anyways, I am reverting back to my old yappy self after telling you guys that I would not be talking as much. I then proceeded to speak for an entire, like what, minute, two minutes with barely any catching of breath. Um, so let's go ahead and let's get painting and I will catch you guys a little bit more towards the middle of the video.
back at you with the commentary and I have actually had a really easy time painting sage so far and I think that that has a lot to do with the fact that I did not set my expectations through the roof as usual. Normally I expect everything to look picture perfect but I am just creating the essence of my favorite foraging sage and it has been coming out really great but I'm not gonna lie I was a little bit nervous about painting the ear because I was trying not to make it so detailed but also still have it give the look of an ear but after calming myself down a little bit and just reminding myself that I'm just creating shapes that look like something else and not the real ear of sage, I brought myself back to sanity and was able to paint and bring myself back to the fact that I am an artist creating art from absolutely nothing and not a god creating an ear on a dog. It does not need to look picture perfect. It just needs to be created in a way that makes people see what you see. Can we take the time to talk about how cute Sage looks in her yellow jacket? Not just in this painting, because obviously I am trying my hardest to reflect the cuteness of the picture in this painting, but let, let's bring it back to the picture because I think that we're forgetting exactly how cute she looks right now. Like, ugh, just the cutest. Yellow is so her color. And then with that complimentary purple collar, simply too cute. Since I've decided I want my sketchbook to be a place where art feels fun instead of feeling super detailed and perfect, I decided to make these flowers way more simple than I might normally have created them. But don't you worry, I couldn't pass up on the beauty of those tiny flowers and did decide to create a more detailed version with color pencils later in this video. At this point, I have an oopsie to cover up. I accidentally touched the black paint to the top and had to wash it off, but I want to take everything as an opportunity to be creative instead of an opportunity to get upset that I messed up on something. So I decided to fill it with some clouds from today's sky. To me, first of all, I love painting clouds. It is one of my favorite things to paint, but normally I would do it with a magic hour background, but today's perfect day happened under the sky and I am beyond happy to paint it. At this point, I want to do something a little bit different for the detailed flower, so I decide to take an acrylic piece of paper and actually draw it so that I can glue it onto the sketch page, and then again draw the flower and glue that on top just to give it more of a 3D effect. Actually, I even went as far as using little sticky, I don't know, sticky circle stickers that elevate things. I don't know what you would describe it. If anyone knows what you would call them, again, feel free to comment and let me know. But otherwise, please enjoy the creation of, I don't know, whatever's going on in my head. Um, and let's see how it turns out because this is the final piece of my sketch layout. And that's it guys this is the layout i was able to create today from the inspiration i found on my hike with my absolutely lovely family that i'm absolutely obsessed with shout out to you guys for just making my heart light up every day anyways like subscribe and follow and i'll catch you in the next one where i take some of my instagram followers reference pics and draw them out in the sketchbook
Bye.